We're going to be working on part 210-6-55 and most of the stuff you can do. What we're going to worry most about is this slot right here um, that goes through or does, that goes across the thing. And we're also going to be worried about the holes here at D and B. So D is a 6 millimeter hole and there's four of them equally spaced. So we'll be using an array to do that. Um, they are on a, a B, which is a 38 millimeter bolt circle. And then we'll come back and worry about the slot later on. Okay, so... Back in here, if you should get to this point, um, we'll go ahead and make a circle, and we're going to make a circle right on that center point. And that center point is 6 millimeters. Um, 38 divided by 2 is 19, so we're going to move that from that center point straight up with the ortho on. So F8, and then we'll go 19 that direction. Go ahead and extrude this through. And before we do anything, we want to go up and do a polar array. So we'll select that object to spin, and then we're going to go ahead and do this right here. Now, what we don't want to do is six times. We only want to do it four. So four should cut it, and that should be what we want to do. So we'll close the array there. At this point, we should be able to click on subtract and subtract from this, that, that and we should get four holes through there. Oh, forgot. I have to explode that. So um, we'll go ahead and click explode. Explode those right there. Now, when we do um, subtract, subtract from this, We've got to select each one of these individually. And that puts that in there. Now we'll go and start worrying about the slot. So the slot is going to be 4.5 millimeters wide by 8 deep. Um, okay, so we'll go back to this and we're going to create a polyline. And we'll go extrude this oh, F8 we're going to go straight down we'll go 4.5 this way we need it to be longer than this surface right here so let's just make it doesn't matter we can go 50 is fine as long as it's longer it's bigger than the C is um, 4.5 this way and close and then I'm going to extrude this exactly 8 millimeters deep alright so this is what we're going to use to cut out of that and what we can do then is just draw a line that goes from this corner here to that corner there and we have a midpoint which should be the middle of the part so then when we move this we'll move that part right there once we're done selecting we right click and we're going to select that midpoint as our base point and then we're going to move it to this center point right here all right so then when we subtract subtract from this that and we get exactly what we want all right so from there um, we'll go on and make a drawing so I'm going to click save and I'm going to save this one as 210-6-55 and we'll go make the drawing for this. Then when we do it one of the things we want to do is we want to make sure we place the views correctly so we'll come in here and this one's going to be somewhat interesting because we want this view to be our front view. I click and enter and this view and this view are different if you look at them. Um, so we have to have it. Now there's this little piece right in here that's cut out, and that's what happens when you cut that that, that out of the, the slot out of there. So then we'll go um, we'll go here and we'll go to annotate, and we're going to start dimensioning this thing. Uh, we'll do center points first. Do center lines. difficult to dimension so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop this now and uh, I'll let you do the dimensioning part and we can cover that in class